Hey, it's Matt at Rough House Studios. Welcome to Canna Basics. Today we're going to make cannabis infused ghee with the Levo C device, and then we're going to make some delicious chocolate chip cookies. This video is sponsored by Levo. If you'd like to learn more about their products, which include more than just really cool infusion devices, you can find them at levooil.com. Save money with the code Roughhouse. Now first we're gonna make some infused ghee. And to do that, you're gonna need uh, an infusion device like the Levo C, which I highly recommend. Or you could also use the traditional methods, but you also need some ghee, which is ultra clarified butter, and some cannabis. Today we're using the Levo brand of ghee. We're using a 29 ounce jar, which is gonna be perfect for the device. Now, the first thing we want to do is to, if you're using the Levo C, is to pack the cannabis into the device, into the pod. Uh, so I'm going to do that now. I'm using some cannabis that's just been ground by hand, uh, pulled the le Steve's, uh, leaves off, excuse me, and then I uh, pulled the bigger stems out and then just broke it up with my hands. Uh, that's just the way I like to do it uh, so I don't get so ground up that it gets a lot of chlorophyll and turns real dark green and uh, tastes not so great. So then you put the lid on the pod, you put that inside of the canister. Make sure you got the, the lid lined up with the little uh, arm that goes over and then put that on the device. Okay, and now for decarbing, what's the next step for making edibles? Uh, we're gonna select that uh, activate cycle on the Levo C, which is to uh, decarboxylate the cannabis and activate it uh, so that it becomes more bioavailable so that the edibles will get you a lot more high than if you don't. So don't skip that step unless you've already uh, de uh, decarbed it. You can see it brings it up to temperature. You can see the bubbles and the moisture start heating out. Once it gets up to, to the temperature of 240 degrees, it'll hold there for 45 minutes and activate that cannabis. Now, also, you'll want to, to get your ghee into a form that'll pour down into the canister. You can see that at room temperature, it's it's solid. So you just put that, take the lid off and uh, the, pull the cap off and put that in a microwave safe dish. Microwave that for a minute and uh, it'll be a liquid and you'll be able to pour it in there. So now we have our ghee melted and we have our cannabis decarbed. So we're ready to move on to the infusion process. And so what we're doing here is just combining in the ghee into the, the decarbed cannabis is still inside there in the pod. And it's really convenient because that pod will actually hold the <laughs> container so that you can let all the ghee drip down in there and make sure you get all of it out of there. You can see it's the perfect amount of ghee to just cover the cannabis just to, you know, I had left it about an inch from the top inside there and just covers perfectly. So that's why I like this containers uh, from Levo. Not only is it great quality ghee, but also uh, fits perfectly. And before infusing, you also wanna make sure that you put the little magnetic stir also in the back of the bottom of the container so that it can mix it. So I'm just choosing the standard infuse cycle, uh, two hours at uh, 150 or yeah, 150 degrees for two hours. So it warms up like it does with the decarb cycle. And then once it hits the temperature, it starts the process. So I usually increase the temperature a little bit from the, from the default, but this time I'm just gonna let it go at the default setting and see what it gets. I'm going for a good quality flavor on this one. I don't want it to be too green and chlorophyll and uh, dank flavor. I want it to be more light and enjoyable. But you see, it did darken quite a bit over the two hours. Okay, so the next step uh, is going to be to filter out. And this is pretty much any, either way you're making your infusion now, what you want to do is to filter out your, your oil from spent cannabis, so to speak. I'm storing this in the butter container, but you could definitely use the Levo glass jar as a container. So I really find that easy with the Levo C because you already have the filter built in. You don't need a, a mesh screen or a fine mesh. You don't need a cheesecloth. It's all right there. And if you get the little optional pod press that you can get from Levo as well, it fits perfectly down inside of there and you can just squeeze right through the screen right down into your, your same pot very clean and easy there you go now we have infused ghee so now we have the ghee let's make some cookies now i did let this sit overnight and cool back off because uh, you don't want to make it with hot butter cookies or hot ghee so uh, 
letting it back to room temperature. It didn't solidify again after it was infused for me this time, but uh, that's what you want it to be, uh, room temperature and melted but not warm. You also need an egg, and I'm using this uh, Levo brand cookie mix because I really wanted to try it out. You just need a mixing spoon, an egg, and the butter. All right, so for this recipe, it calls for a half a cup. So this is a quarter cup uh, measuring cup I'm using there. This fits down in the lid easier. And so I'm scooping out a half a cup of the oil or the infused ghee, which uh, in this case is room temperature is not solidified. But before I infused it, it was solidified at room temperature, but just changed the constitution a little bit when I infused it. You want to put the egg in there with the ghee and just mix that until the egg is incorporated into the oil, the, the ghee oil. And then you just use the whole pack of the mix if you're using this. And you could use any other kind of mix if you want. Uh, but I really wanted to try out the Levo version of it. And I really like that all the quantities and everything for this is really simple. An egg, a half a cup, and the mix, and you're done. So then you want to mix that together. I like using a wooden spoon. I don't want to press it and mash it and, and take all the air out of them because I want my cookies to be a little bit airy. So I'm just using the wooden spoon. It was a little too crumbly, so I added in a tablespoon of water at the end just to incorporate the last little bit of dry crumbs into it. But I did want a crumbly cookie dough, but it should be still crumbly, but you should uh, be able to know when it's finished when you're able to form it into a ball real easily like that. So there we go. Don't overmix your uh, cookie dough. All right, so now if you have like a, a, a proper scoop, you could use that, but I'm just using a one tablespoon measuring uh, spoon and just making them kind of uh, rounded like that. So they're probably like a one and a half tablespoons per cookie. And just flatten them out a little bit. Bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 12 minutes and till they look really good and delicious. And we'll, we'll see them when they come out of the oven. But uh, I, instead of just cooking up a whole bunch of cookies and letting them go stale before I eat them, I always just like make a small batch. I use a toaster oven and just make a small batch of them every couple of days so they're nice and fresh. Put that in the fridge or the freezer and you can just make them when you're ready. Okay, and you'll wanna take the cookies out when they've fallen into a cookie shape and they're just starting to turn brown around the edges. If you overcook them, you're going to get a real hard, crunchy cookie. If you want that, that's fine, too. I like mine to stay a little soft on the edge, I mean the center, and then uh, soft, crunchy around the edge. So you get a little crunch and then a little chew both. So after they cool for a few minutes on your uh, baking sheet, you can put them on a cooling rack to let it get fully cool, if you can stand it that long. And uh, I didn't show myself eating them, but these are really delicious cookies. So nice job on the mix there, Levo. Uh, if you want to check out Levo's uh, products, you can find them at LevoOil.com. Use the code ROUGHHOUSE to save yourself a little money and to make me a little money. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, make sure you hit the bell so you're notified when we release a new video. This is Matt from Roughhouse Studios. Thanks for watching.